Imagine living in a world where you have grown up and are familiar with all the continents, and then all of a sudden the continent you are on begins to split into two distinct continents with a new ocean forming in the middle. This is neither a movie script nor a bedtime story. This is a geological event that is actually happening right before our eyes on the continent of Africa. A giant rift is slowly tearing Africa, the second largest continent, apart. This depression known as the East African Rift is a network of valleys that stretches about 2,175 miles long from the Red Sea to Mozambique, according to the Geological Society of London. Shifting tectonic plates have been splitting the continent since the East African Rift. A 35-mile-long crack in Ethiopia's desert emerged in 2005. A new ocean may form as two significant portions of the continent split apart. So, will Africa rip apart completely? And if so, when will it split? To answer this question, let's look at the region's tectonic plates, the outer parts of the planet's surface that can collide with each other, making mountains or pull apart, creating vast basins. If you are still watching this video, it means you love it. Why not take a second and hit the like button? The formation of the East African Rift, a 56-kilometer long rift in the deserts of Ethiopia formed in 2005, marked the beginning of the creation of a new sea. It would imply that landlocked nations like Zambia and Uganda, which are currently without coastlines, might do so in a few years. The East African Gap, a 56-kilometer-long gap that began to emerge in Ethiopia's deserts in 2005, signaled the formation of a new sea. According to NASA's Earth Observatory, the Somalian tectonic plate is being pulled eastward by the bigger, older Nubian tectonic plate along this enormous tear in eastern Africa. The Nubian plate is also sometimes referred to as the African plate, while the Somalian plate is also sometimes referred to as the Somali plate. The East African Rift began to form between Arabia and the Horn of Africa in the eastern section of the continent around 35 million years ago. Over time, this rifting expanded southward, reaching northern Kenya by 25 million years ago. The rift is made up of two sets of cracks in the crust of the Earth that are roughly parallel. According to the Geological Society of London, the western rift extends in an arc from Uganda to Malawi, while the eastern rift continues across Ethiopia and Kenya. According to NASA's Earth Observatory, the western branch is located on the edge of the Congolese rainforest, whereas the eastern branch is arid. The finding of offshore earthquake and volcanic zones, as well as the existence of the eastern and western rifts, show that Africa is progressively opening along many lines at a rate of more than 0.25 inch millimeters, each year. According to Ken McDonald, a distinguished professor emeritus of Earth since at the University of California, Santa Barbara, the rifting right now is very slow, about the rate that one's two nails grow. The East African Rift System, one of the world's largest rifts that extends thousands of kilometers downward through several African nations, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique, is linked to the colossal breakup. According to a 2004 study, this rift system indicates that the African plate is breaking into two plates, the smaller Somalian plate and the larger Nubian plate, which are pulling apart at a super slow snail's speed of millimeters per year. The world as we know it has only recently appeared. The continents of Eurasia, the Americas, Africa, Antarctica, and Oceania that we can see today are the result of enormous tectonic plates that fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. On a time scale of millions of years, however, these puzzle parts move around very slowly. Just consider the separation of South America and Africa 138 million years ago, which occurred over the Earth's history. 
The east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa fit together like two jigsaw puzzle pieces, eloquently demonstrating how these continents were once united as one. According to the Geological Society of London, between Kenya and Ethiopia, heat from the asthenosphere and the hotter, weaker upper section of Earth's mantle may have contributed to the formation of the East African Rift. The fragile continental rock was stretched and fractured as a result of this heat's effect on the crust above it, which caused it to expand and rise. According to NASA's Earth Observatory, this resulted in significant volcanic activity that contributed to the construction of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. There are numerous theories as to how Africa might split apart. In one scenario, a sea would form between the African continent and the majority of the Somalian plate. Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, the eastern portions of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique would all be a part of this new land mass. Another scenario has only eastern Tanzania and Mozambique separating. The rift in Ethiopia and Kenya may split to create a Somali plate in the next 1 million to 5 million years, if the African continent does break off. Geologists have estimated the Earth's formation to have occurred 4.5 billion years ago, followed by the formation of the continental crust 3.2 billion years ago and the continental shelf which started to form when the Earth's supercontinent was formed by the melting rocks beneath its surface, pushing through the Earth's columns. According to certain reports, some tectonic plates are moving in opposition to one another along fault zones. While some plates collided, others fell beneath one another, and yet others are separating from one another due to diverging plate boundaries, causing the continents we have today, Africa, Europe, Asia, South America, North America, and Australia to develop. What do you think about Zambia and Uganda having their own coastline? If you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to let us know how you feel in the comments section, and of course, hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing content.